Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at chapter 2, most repeated questions for ICT IGCSE. So let's start. So first of all, we need to know the difference between OMR, OCR and MICR. OMR stands for Optical Mark Reader, OCR stands for Optical Character Reader, and MICR stands for Magnetic Ink Character Reader. So let's see, which one uses uh, magnetic data on checks? For checks, we always use MICR. Used to read number plates, and this will be OCR because OMR are only used for MCQs and all that. Used when entering hard written text, also OCR. Uh, exactly, so used to read multiple choice examination responses, that is OMR. Okay, so it's given here. So OCR, because this method reads handwriting, it is possible for customers to extend their answers to questions. Poor handwriting may cause reading errors. OCR is used for converting print printed documents to an editable electronic format. This is very important because this basically summarizes what OCR is for you. OCR requires a complex recognition system. Fewer how to fill in instructions are needed for forms designed to be completed and then read by OCR. While OCR is more accurate than data entered into a computer by keyboard, there are still problems recognizing all types of handwriting leading to inaccuracies. Yes. OMR. So, so let me just show you OMR because people do get confused when we are talking about OMR and OCR. So you see, to fill in uh, sheets like this, right, to read them, that uh, we use OMR. So OMR simply reads the position of marks so it's ideal for MCQ papers since using shading or uh, to answer the information obtained is limited because you can't shade more than one and then expect to get more information. OMR relies on simply detecting where the marks have been made on the page. The position of the marks is compared to a template stored in the memory. Uh, this method also requires complex and expensive forms to be completed, but the recognition system is simpler than OCR. But to be honest, OCR is more helpful and has more functions. While this method requires more how to fill in instructions, it's easier and faster for com uh, customers to complete OMR forms than to complete OCR. OMR is essentially a more accurate method of reading data from OCR. Then the next type, uh, main type of question they ask, uh, what are input and output devices? Uh, this is uh, something that you can even close your eyes and tell. Uh, so input devices are uh, devices that are used to enter data into the computer and output devices are devices used to present that data. So over here, they have given us some examples. So input devices such as keyboard, concept keyboard, numeric keypad, mouse, touchpad, tracker ball, remote control, joystick, driving wheel, touchscreen. Now touchscreen is both input and output device. Let me see if they are repeated touchscreen. Yeah. No, but yes, uh, touchscreen is both input and output. So then we have scanners, digital camera, video camera, microphone, sensors, graphic tablet, webcams, light pen, magnetic stripe, readers, contactless cards, chip and pin, blah, blah, blah. So all these. Now, if you want to know more about them, then you have to go watch my video on this chapter, chapter two. Everything is over there. Uh, the output devices to the same thing. CRT, so monitors, TFT monitors, LCD, LED, multimedia projectors, printers. Now, these different types of printers, these different types of monitors. Uh, just a second. Okay, let me just get this one. Then we have speakers, wide format printers and control applications such as actuators, motors, buzzers, lights, heaters, and many more. Then they ask, how is data read from an RFID chip? The washing, okay, so now they have used a specific scenario here. The washing machine sends out interrogative waves or radio signal to read the data from the RFID. They act as a passive transponder. Now for RFID, we have two types of the way they are powered. Either passive, so we have passive um, RFID chips and we have active RFID chips. I'll make a separate video on how RFID works, so don't stress life for now. The, uh, what's the difference between 3D printer, laser printer, inject printer, and dot matrix printer? Now, this is something that, okay, so they have explained it here. We'll look at that. So, uh, a printer that uses toner. Now, toner is used by laser printers. 
ink is used by inkjet printers. Okay, I don't know why they haven't added it here. Uh, the printer that uses continuous stationery, that's dot matrix, that can use physical models. Only, this, only 3D printers can make physical models and a printer that prints layer by layer. So first layer, then second layer, third layer, fourth layer. That's how the whole object is made. So that one is, this one is also 3D printers. Now let's look at the different types of printers. So now first we have dot matrix printers. Now this is an impact printer. Uh, head is slow, noisy and output is not that good. Okay, so these are used in noisy environments. The advantages and disadvantages, you can read them. Just pause the video. Then we have 3D printers, which are used in computer aided design. Now this is a keyword over here, computer CAD application and can produce solid objects. Pause the video, read the advantages and disadvantages. Then the printers, we have different types. We have laser printers. Um, they produce high quality and high volume printing. And we have inkjet printers that produce uh, fairly enough quality by low volume. It's ideal for single pages and used for students at home and all that. And that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next video where we discuss chapter three. Till then, ta-da.